Yeah, the ID Tech X, and uh, who are you? My name is Pauline van Dongen. I'm a Dutch fashion designer, fashion innovator, specialized in wearable technology. So, uh, you made a solar shirt? Yes. A solar t shirt also? Mm -hmm. It's a solar t shirt, yeah. We made a men's wear and a women's wear version. Together with the whole center, our partner, we combined flexible printed electronics with thin film solar cells so that your clothing can harvest energy for you. That's awesome. So, so that means your clothes is actually useful for something. Yeah, especially when you go outdoors and you go off grid and you want to continue uh, charging uh, your devices, uh, be connected. And how about this one? Uh, this one is a, um, a running shirt that we developed together with Philips Research. It's it, supposed to light up, right? It's supposed to light up, yeah. It uh, integrates uh, LED ribbons and we've placed them behind these very uh, thin and uh, prismatic foils so that the light creates an interesting effect besides, of, of course, offering safety and, uh, and visibility. So there would be light all over the back right yeah. here so the cars see the person from far away. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And it also adds something to the look, of course, because it's not only about creating some functionalities but really tying it into uh, desirability, to fashion and tying it into people's lifestyles. So what do you think is going to be the future of smart clothing? What, where is it? How many things are going to be possible? You're talking about light and solar charging. Yeah. Are you considering other things? Are you researching other things? Are yes, you I, to think, I think there's not one singular answer and that's why I think it's important to explore many different technologies and many different ways of integrating and applications. Uh, I think for me the future of fashion is, uh, is about uh, becoming dynamic and responsive. So it's really about creating materials that can adapt and change to uh, the circumstances, to personal preferences, that uh, have a specific behavior that can support us in the way that we live our lives and that can create interesting new expressions. And it's not only haute couture, right? No. You, you I, did the presentation and you were, what were you talking about? Yeah, well, I think what I was trying to say is that a lot of these designs, they are mind-blowing and they give us a an idea about the future, but they are not grounded in everyday lives. And I think a lot of these technologies, they are they are real. We, we can already use them. So instead of only making one-off haute couture pieces, I think we should look into how to manufacture them also on a larger scale and uh, really have people benefit from it. All right. What do you think about this one? Well, I think that's, that's one of the examples of a, of a more haute couture kind of artistic piece. This is another designer, right? Yeah. Right. So uh, uh, I think smart clothing is going to be bigger than the iPhone. It's going to because well, the, 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 this is everybody needs clothes, and everybody's going to buy the clothes that actually has function. Like it yeah. could be heart rate or it could be something else. Uh, yeah, I think in a lot of cases we have to we have to think about what makes sense because clothing is something that we wear, and that's something we should capitalize on in a sense that it can extend and and enlarge. Uh, our embodied experience. Uh, something that a phone doesn't do because we carry a phone with us but we also put it away. It's not connected to our bodies and that's a whole different story. All right, so this one has a USB and a, yeah. you can just charge out of the pocket. Yeah, so this one is a cable and let's see if it charges. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's been charging its tiny battery here. Yeah. And Basically, it, it uh, yeah stores the energy in a in a tiny battery, and uh, you can use it whenever you need to. All right. So, uh, do you have a, a other designers working with you? Um, at the moment, I'm uh, I'm collaborating with several textile companies, and I'm looking for uh, collaborations also with uh, larger brands because I think. Uh, I can help them facilitate and help them explore these uh, these new directions that are maybe a bit too far removed from them at the moment. Uh, I can help them integrate and help them understand the possibilities um, and, and really bring it to the market. And this conference is, is perfect, right? There's lots of uh, potential partners and Yeah, and, and I think in terms of materials. technology and in terms of material suppliers uh, and knowledge and expertise uh, when it comes to, uh, well, Graphene, energy harvesting, 3D printing, this is a playground for me at least. So you just walk around and you look and you say, wow, that's awesome, I want to make a dress with your... And then they say, okay, or how does well, it work? Um, well, first of all, uh, a lot of people uh, responded very, very enthusiastically uh, on my presentation this morning, so that was really a uh, conversation starter. And uh, yeah, I look around, I, I explain people what I do and how that might integrate with their work and yeah. Cool. All right. Is possible to buy?
Not yet. We're working on uh, commercializing it at the moment. Uh, we still have to uh, make it a bit more robust, but we plan to, uh, to of course, bring it to the market. That's great. And uh, I hope it's uh, stable. It doesn't shatter or break or... No, no. That's the, that's the benefit of the printed electronics. They have a really high bend ratio and uh, actually the, the electronics themselves, uh, whole center has proven that they are washable. So we're now only figuring out how to make the, the solar cells washable. And there's a way to kind of like make it part of the... Fa uh, part of the. Yeah, basically through the lamination process and making these layers very thin and stretchable using the meanders. Uh, we really uh, make a close bond with the textile.